What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. They are currently working on building a new fence along the side of the track. So I won't be throwing discus today, which is probably good because my finger is so messed up. I've got a blister under another blister. I popped one of them, but there's still another one. I can feel it. I just can't see it and I don't want to dig up my hand too much. So I might just have to wait it out for a couple days and hopefully it heals up. But I'm going to start by warming up, get a nice warm up for my wrist, taking it nice and easy. So I can get to some full throws and hopefully my wrist holds up today. Get some nice straight pushes. Let's go. So before I get into what I was working on today, I want to talk a little bit about what's going on with my wrist. So lately, I've been trying to change my technique, and a big part of that is the hand position. I've tried to move my hand down a bit lower in my neck, get the ball up a bit higher on my fingers so I can start to snap it out of them on the finish. But in doing this, I put a lot more stress on my wrist, and it's been getting sore, and it's not injured. I just definitely feel like I need a lot more strengthening. So I've been doing exercises in the weight room, trying to work on my grip strength and wrist strength. But until then, I just need to continue to get throwing reps and not overwork my wrist when it's sore. And this goes for any part of your body. So if it's starting to hurt and then continues to hurt more, or is affecting you from getting good productive throws, then sometimes it's just worth shutting down. Because taking a day of rest now, before you hurt yourself, compared to two weeks of rest after an injury, you're going to be kicking yourself later. So just listen to your body and what's going on. And that's why with these picking drills, I was going nice and slow, nice and easy, not trying to snap it out of my hand too hard, but just start to warm up my wrist and get all the muscles in my arm firing and warm so that I don't hurt myself later on in practice. All right, so let's get into the things that I was feeling today. If you watch my video from two days ago, the title was Today Something Clicked, but that's covering the main positions and feelings that I'm working on. But today I built on that and started to feel something that helped me get my best practice ever so far. So I like to try to understand the physics of throwing and today I'm gonna to go over the finish and what I was feeling, and maybe you'll be able to apply it to your throw. So to understand the finish, let's look at the mechanics of a trebuchet and a skeet shooting disc throwing uh, machine. I don't, I don't know what to call it. Both of these are an excellent demonstration of how your body needs to operate. You see the weight pulling straight down, and when that hits the bottom, that's when everything on the other side is snapping through and accelerating and at its peak speed. And after that, if the weight keeps going, it's just gonna be slowing down the arm. So what I need to feel is my block hitting nice and hard and slinging the other side all in one continuous motion without having my arm pull backwards into the circle because then that's taking power and sending it in that direction instead of stopping, getting a nice solid block and pushing everything into the throw. You can see these mechanics with the skeet shooter too. And this is a good way to think about the discus. You're that middle axis and it's got to spin around rotationally, and the longer you keep your arm, the further it's pulling out, and the tip of your arm, the further away from you it is, the faster it's going to be going. So you want to keep everything nice and straight, in line with your shoulder, rotating around you to get that nice snap and sling and good flight. And shot puts the same feeling. I just like to think of my elbow as the arm, and then it's just kind of got a weird hinging double extension piece that you've got to time up with the snap also. So I didn't figure this out until about halfway through practice. I just didn't talk much during practice today, so I wanted to cover this first so you have something to look out for. And today I had two kinds of throws. One was a throw that was flat and I was getting a nice push where I was trying to feel that trebuchet motion, but the shot put was coming out really flat. And the other kind of throw, I was getting underneath it and getting better lift on it, but I wasn't feeling the same trebuchet launch and push. So I need to find a middle ground where I'm pushing the ball at a 45 degree angle or around 45 degrees, getting that stretch and snap by pulling my off arm down like that counterweight and then timing everything up for a nice straight push on the finish. And it's a very difficult motion. And that's why I'm not throwing 22 meters yet. But I think understanding the physics of this and then trying to do it in practice every day, I'll slowly start to feel it more and more and time it up and connect the two kinds of throws to one super throw so I can actually be one of the uh, top guys in the world. Let's get into practice. the timing that I can actually get under it and 
legs stand up, push nice and straight. Down nice middle axis to work the ball around, push it nice straight up. So nice. Like I'm, I'm so like, afraid to just like yeah. get into it and push because my wrist is so weird. But. No, no, yeah, I don't need to. Set up nice on my right side, get to a position that I can just push the ball nice and straight and really think about hammering that arm. I need to get to a good position, just drive up and push it nice and straight, just punch it. Everything's feeling good, just need to continue to set it up nice out of the back, get to a position to push it straight, and then I just need to actually just deliver it as straight as possible, keeping it on orbit, not pulling off, so good block, straight push, get it. I was so close to being over 20 meters today. Things are feeling awesome. I just want to continue to keep working that block and driving everything else up. I definitely felt on a lot of throws that I was pulling off with my off arm and that's sending energy back into the middle of the circle instead of setting up a nice block on that side and working everything into it. So I'm going to try to find that and keep working that, continuing to use some stretch to my chest, snapping everything. but. I can keep playing around with it, keep tweaking positions until I get those 22 meter throws. But it's just one day at a time. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I will see you in the next one.